Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upcycle calendars and turn them into a snail mail flip book for your pen pal. Now calendars are perfect to use for craft projects because you can buy them really cheap when they're off season. Now I actually got these in January from Kaiser Craft and I'll have that shop linked in the description box below and they were all five dollars. I was blown away. The patterns on these are so beautiful so I wanted to turn it into a snail mail project. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your square in half then open it back up and then you're going to measure out thirds along the top and the bottom of the paper. Then you're going to rule two lines connecting the top and the bottom and then you'll fold along the ruled line. So you're going to open the page back up and you should see four folded rectangles. So once you've done that, you'll need to cut along the bottom two rectangles and they're actually going to create your pockets. So cut up into the center fold line. And as you can see here, I actually cut out the lines again in order to make around a three millimeter gap so that when I'm folding the flip book back together, the pockets aren't going to kind of lip together. They're going to fold in nicely, if that makes sense. <laughs> So once you have cut along your rectangles, then you're going to make your pockets. Now I actually make three different types of pockets and I completely made these names up. I don't know if these pockets, if this is what you actually call these pockets, but um, basically the first one is a full rectangle pocket and I've added a little finger tab at the top where you can slip goodies in and out. So basically these will be things that you, like long goodies that you want to slip in and out. The second pocket is going to be a triangle pocket. So basically all I did was I cut the rectangle diagonally and then I just glued double, well I, I stuck down double sided tape and everything in this flip book I've stuck with double sided tape. Once my second pocket was stuck down then all I did for the third pocket was I cut the top third off the little flap and then again just glued the sides down. So once you've got all your pockets done, and by the way, you can actually make any pocket you like. You can go online, Pinterest has lots of them. You could even cut out a square out of these pockets and make like a little shaker pocket. You could use vellum paper so they're all see-through. It doesn't really matter how you make them. This is just the tutorial of the one that I did today. Now, after that, it's just basically decorating. So. I used cats from the cat calendar that I bought and I also used a lot of the stickers from my own collection. So if you want to see any of the like any of the stickers I used, I'll have them link in the description box below. Um, and yeah, I just decorated. I used lots of pastel color colors and I had a lot of fun with it. So I've actually created a blog post to match this video today. Instead of re-watching this video to get all of the steps, I wrote them all down for you. I took all the photos and I made a little blog so you can read through it and see the step-by-step -step tutorial over on my website. So I'll have the blog post linked in the description box below today for you.
I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, I also just want to give a shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. I need a little banner at the end of my video saying thank you to my patrons. So over on Patreon, I've just created a private Facebook group and it's so fun seeing your creative ideas and projects. So please keep sending them through. And monthly we have a Zoom catch up. I also have um, a tier that's for swaps and challenges. So each month I pair everyone up with their partners and they send mail to each other. It's really fun and I've also got lots of rewards and things that I send out in the mail each month. So I also have my Patreon linked in the description box below if you want to go check that out. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this little snail mail package. I'm actually going to send this one out to one of my patrons. So <laughs> um, hopefully someone gets a surprise at the end of the month. I'll see you guys next week and don't forget to check out the blog post. Thanks for watching. Bye.